Now let me show you the mathematical form. I'm going to show you mathematical background that what is filter or kernel, how it works. For example, this is the matrix of the image. This is the respective image. Look, image actually consists of rows and columns here. So we have five rows and five columns. Its dimension is five. So five times five is 25. We have 25 pixels here. Suppose this one, zero, nine, three, zero, three, six, zero, up to here. These are the pixels. These are the pixels of this image. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reduce the dimension. I need to reduce the dimension. We know that in convolutional neural network, we are trying to reduce the dimension of the image because it is a time saving with less memory consumption and also less expensive. The lesser we have the dimension, the lesser we have the number of pixels in the image, the easier it is to process in the convolutional neural network model. So that's what we are trying. Now, what is the technique? What is the process? What is the procedure where we are going to reduce the dimension of this respective image? I just suppose that it is a huge image. It is a big image, though it is not a big, but let's suppose it is a very big image. So what I need to do, I'm going to apply the filter here, filter or kernel. Suppose it is a filter, it is a 3 by 3 kernel, it is a 3 by 3 filter. This filter or kernel has 3 rows and 3 columns. I want to apply this filter on this image. So with the help of this filter, at the end I will reduce the dimension of this image to the lesser dimension. How we can do that? We will apply the stride here. What is stride? We will study stride in upcoming lectures and we will check that how stride works. Let me apply the kernel on this first 3x3 three three matrix and then take the dot product here. So according to the dot product, I'm going to have 1 times 0 plus 0 times 1 plus 9 times 0 plus 3 times 3 plus 6 times 2 plus 0 times 1 plus 5 times 1 plus 3 times 3 plus 8 times 2. So there's a product what we did. I apply the filter here for this 3 by 3 section of 5 by 5 image. This is called a stride on this image and then I took the product. So at the end what I got, I got 51 here, 51. So when you do all the products here, and then do addition at the end you will get 51 values just take the products 1 times 0 plus 0 times 1 plus 9 times 0 plus 3 times 3 plus 6 times 2 plus 0 times 1 plus 5 times 1 plus 3 times 3 plus 8 times 2 equals to 51 this 51 is the value after simplification of this expression so it is the value for this whole thing here for this whole thing now I want to build a 3x3 three three matrix and when you apply the kernel which is 3x3 three three, your final result will be 3x3 three three matrix which will be the new version of the first initial image with a lesser dimension. Now leave one column and apply the filter on this 3x3 three three matrix which equals to 0 times 0 plus 9 times 1 plus 3 times 0 plus 6 times 3 plus 0 times 2 plus 0 times 1 plus 3 times 1 plus 8 times 3 plus 2 times 2. So when you do simplification here, at the end you will get 58. Now look, I first apply the filter on this 3 by 3. And then moving ahead, the one column here, and then start from here, not from here. Just leave one column here and start from here. So you're going to cover this 3x3 three three matrix now. And then take the product. At the end you will get 58 when you do simplification here. Because 0 times 0 plus 9 times 1 plus 3 times 0 plus 6 times 3 plus 0 times 2 plus 0 times 1 plus 3 times 1 plus 8 times 3 plus 2 times 2 equals to 58. And now apply the filter here on this 3x3 three three matrix which equals to 9 times 0, 3 times 1, 0 times 0, plus 0 times 3, plus 0 times 2, plus 5 times 1, plus 8 times 1, plus 2 times 3, plus 
0 times 2. So when you do a simplification here, at the end you will get 22 value. Look, first we applied the kernel here, the filter here on this 3 by 3 matrix. And then we left the first column. We started from here, from here, this 3 by 3 matrix. And then moving ahead, we left the second column too. We started from here, from here, 3 by 3 matrix. Just take the product of this kernel with this matrix. When you do all the simplification here, at the end you will get 22, 22. Once you finished for the first row, now to leave the first row and start it from here, from here, which equals to 3 times 0 plus 6 times 1 plus 0 times 0 plus 5 times 3 plus 3 times 2 plus 8 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 5 times 3 plus 7 times 2. When you do simplification here, take the product and then do addition. At the end, you will get 65, the fourth value. Look at here. We started from here and then from here and then from here. Once you reached here, and then the next move will be to start from here. Leave the first row and start it from here and then from here and then from here. Once you finished this, then you have to leave the second row. Start from here and then leave this column from here and then leave the second two from here. So when you apply this 3 by 3 filter and this matrix 3 by 3, it equals to 65. 3 times 0 plus 6 times 1 plus 0 times 0 plus 5 times 3 plus 3 times 2 plus 8 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 5 times 3 plus 7 times 2. It equals to 65. And then moving ahead, leave the first column, start it from here. It equals to 6 times 0 plus 0 times 1 plus 0 times 0 plus 3 times 3 plus 8 times 2 plus 2 times 1 plus 5 times 1 plus 7 times 3 plus 9 times 2. When you do all the products and then do addition, at the end you will get a fifth value which is 71. This 71 is the value which we got it from here 6 times 0 plus 0 times 1 plus 0 times 0 plus 3 times 3 plus 8 times 2 plus 2 times 1 plus 5 times 1 plus 7 times 3 plus 9 times 2. It equals to 71. And then apply on this 3 by 3 matrix. It equals to 0 times 0 plus 0 times 1 plus 5 times 0 plus 8 times 3 plus 2 times 2 plus 0 times 1 plus 7 times 1 plus 9 times 3 plus 7 times 2. It is a simple product of the two matrix. You just take the product of two matrix here. Do all the multiplications and then addition. At the end you will get the sixth value which is 76. 76. Then moving ahead, leave the second row as well and start it from here. It equals to 5 times 0 plus 3 times 1 plus 8 times 0 plus 1 times 3 plus 5 times 2 plus 7 times 1 plus 4 times 1 plus 8 times 3 plus 2 times 2. Look, once you reach to this point, then you need to start it from here. Leave the two rows and start it from here and then from here and then from here. So the product of this 3 by 3 matrix with this kernel matrix 3 by 3, 5 times 0 plus 3 times 1 plus 8 times 0 plus 1 times 3 plus 5 times 2 plus 7 times 1 plus 4 times 1 plus 8 times 3 plus 2 times 2 equals to 55 value. This is the seventh value. Look, just simply take the product of this 3 by 3 matrix with this kernel matrix which is 3 by 3. When you take the product, do simplification, finally you will get 55. And then pick this 3 by 3 matrix, it equals to 3 times 0 plus 8 times 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 5 times 3 plus 7 times 2 plus 9 times 1 plus 8 times 1 plus 2 times 3 plus 2 times 2. When you do the simplification here, finally at the end you will get the 8th value which is 64.
you take the product of this 3x3 three three matrix with this kernel 3x3 three three matrix. Do simplification, you will get 64 because 3 times 0 plus 8 times 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 5 times 3 plus 7 times 2 plus 9 times 1 plus 8 times 1 plus 2 times 3 plus 2 times 2 equals to 64. And then this final matrix, it equals to 8 times 0 plus 2 times 1 plus 0 times 0 plus 7 times 3 plus 9 times 2 plus 7 times 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 2 times 3 plus 0 times 2. Do simplification. Simplify it further at the end you will get the last value, the ninth value which is 56. So there we got finally 3 by 3 featured map matrix. That's what we were trying to achieve. If you take the product of this 3 by 3 matrix with this kernel matrix, simplify it, we'll get the final value which is 56. This final map is called the featured map. This matrix is called the featured matrix. So we have reduced the original dimension of the image from 5 by 5 up to 3 by 3. Now we have the image in a 3 by 3 form by applying 3 by 3 kernel a filter on this image. This moment where we leave this column and start it from here and then from here and then from here, then from here, then from here. This movement is called the stride. It is called the stride. If you take stride equals to 1, then you need to leave one column here. First this one and then leave one column, start it from here and then leave the second column to start it from here, 3 by 3 matrix. If your kernel is 3 by 3, you have to pick 3 by 3 matrix out of this whole matrix box. If it is 4 by 4, you have to pick 4 by 4. If it is 5 by 5, you have to pick 5 by 5. It depends on the kernel, what type of kernel or filter you want to apply. Once you reach here, once you reach here, then you have to start from here again from the beginning. But don't forget, you have to leave the first row. Start it from here, 3 by 3, and then leave the first column. Start it from here, 3 by 3, and then leave the second column. Start it from here, 3 by 3. Once you reach here, then you have to start again from the beginning. But don't forget, you have to leave the second row as well. So start it from here, 3 by 3, and then leave the first column. Start it from here, 3 by 3. Leave the second column, start it from here, 3 by 3. This movement, this sliding of the kernel, this sliding of this filter kernel, this movement is called a stride. If stride equals to 1, then you need to leave one column and or one row. If stride equals to 2, then you need to leave the two columns. For example, if you start it from here, then you need to start again from here, not from here, if the stride equals to 2. Similarly, you need to start it from here, not from here, if the stride equals to 2. So stride equals to 2 means leave two columns or two rows. Stride equals to 1 means leave one column, one row, what we have just done. Or if stride equals to 3, then you have to leave three columns or three rows. This movement and this sliding of the kernel or the matrix of this image is called stride. So the ultimate goal is to reduce the dimension of this image from 5 by 5 up to 3 by 3. So we got finally 3 by 3 here. 3 by 3. This is called the featured map. This final matrix, this final form, this final version of this image is called the featured map. It is a 3 by 3 matrix. If you apply the filter 3 by 3, then you will get 3 by 3 matrix. If you apply filter 5 by 5, you will get 5 by 5 featured map. This is the new version of this image with less dimension. Here, last time we had five rows and five columns. Now we have three rows and three columns. So we have less dimension compared to this image. So the lesser we have the dimension, the more we're going to save the time, the lesser we're going to consume the memory, and the lesser complexity it is going to carry. So this is our objective. Now this 51, 58, 22, 65, 74, 77, 55, 64, 56. These are the new pixels. These are the new image pixels, which we have featured out of this image. This is called the featured extraction. This process, this transformation, 
This phenomena is called the featured extraction. Featured extraction to extract the important information and leave the rest. Just extract the important information out of this image 5 by 5 We got this featured BIP here. This is the important information of this image. We don't need everything here. We don't need all these pixels. We just need the important pixels of this image, which is in the new version, in the new form. That's what we do in convolutional neural network by using the kernel or filter technique. So we have learned that what is filter or what is kernel, how it applies on the image, why we apply it on the image, what is tried, how it takes place, what is featured map, why we need a lesser dimension, why we need to extract the important information and leave the rest. We understand everything right now. I hope it is clear now. But still there is one thing. What is the formula? What is the mathematical formula? We can directly derive the dimension of the featured map. So to derive directly the dimension of the featured map, we will apply this formula. Output equals to image size minus kernel size plus 1. It equals to output equals to 5 minus 3 plus 1. It equals to 3, which means 3 by 3. Look at here. Output equals to image size. What is the image size? It is 5. And what is the kernel size? Kernel size is 3. Image is 5 by 5. Kernel is 3 by 3. Kernel is a filter. So put 5 for the image because the dimension is 5 here. And put 3 for the kernel which is 3 because the dimension is 3. And then plus 1. So 5 minus 3 equals to 2. 2 plus 1 equals to 3. This 3 means that the dimension of this featured map will be 3 by 3. So it is a formula where we can directly know the dimension of the featured map if you apply this formula output equals to the image size you have to look to the image size what is the initial image size what is the first image size which is 5 by 5 it means that the dimension is 5 and then you need to look to the kernel size the filter size what is the filter size what is the kernel size if it is 3 by 3 which means that the dimension is 3 so you have to put 3 here and then plus 1 at the end if you get 3 this 3 is the dimension of the featured map. So even if you don't do all this process, at least you will know what kind of dimension for the featured map will be achieved. In fact, you have to go through this whole process, through this whole striding process of the filter. Only then you will get these respective pixels values for the featured map. But before to do all this process, if only you want to know the dimension of the featured map, you can apply this formula. It can directly drag you to the dimension of the featured map. That in the future, what kind of dimension you will have for the featured map. It is the future information for this featured map.